Nuisance neighbors can really make enjoying your own property pretty difficult. From yappy dogs to loud music, confronting neighbors and addressing the issues can be tricky. It can be. Well, one Pearland homeowner is asking our investigator Amy Davis for help when his calls went unanswered for weeks. Rick Hedemio's sprawling backyard in Shadow Creek Ranch is his family's oasis, an escape from the daily hustle and grind. But seven weeks ago, Rick noticed something new here. So it's the equivalent at nighttime of having a helicopter landing in your backyard uh, all night long. It never stops, it never rests. It is an industrial sized generator humming and buzzing just a few feet from Rick's backyard. It's attached to this T-Mobile cell tower in the easement behind his home. The tower has been here for about 13 years. The generator is new, but Rick says it's already outworn its welcome. Running an industrial sized generator in the middle of a neighborhood is just not very neighborly. And what's worse, no one in Shadow Creek Ranch could get T-Mobile to answer their questions about the noisy generator. We don't know if this is permanent or is this going to be turned off at some point in time? T-Mobile would do us a great service if they would uh, give us some indication of what is happening with this industrial sized generator. Rick's issue is a common one, trying to speak with someone at a large utility when you're not a customer. All communication systems are set up for clients who need customer service. When we reached out to T-Mobile, this generator was turned off the same day. T-Mobile sent us this statement that reads, we apologize for the inconvenience to the neighbors. The power connection was interrupted to this tower and the generator ensured that critical wireless connectivity was not disrupted. Power has been restored to the site. And that was Amy Davis reporting. Now, Amy tells us when you have an issue with a utility company that's using a public utility easement near you, if you can't get through to the company, then you should reach out to the city or the county government where you live. Many have a utility regulations office that could have the appropriate contacts for those companies. If you don't know the name of the office in your area, just start with the city council person or your county commissioner and ask them to help put you in touch.